why is Talia having one of the lowest pick rates on mid lane, the role that she was initially designed for? Why is she also having a low play rate on her other role, the jungle? What is the identity of Talia and how can Riot actually change her to make her viable and not an overpowered or perma-pushing champion? I'm a Talia main that will try to explore around these questions and together with you perhaps revive a champion that is mostly dead, just like Aurelion's soul. The short answer, because just like Aurelion's soul, she's over nerfed and without a proper identity. Currently, Talia has only a 54% win rate on mid lane, but that's only for long time dedicated OTPs, perhaps that I can count with my fingers. Her play rate is abysmal, with anyone new giving up fairly fast. Aurelion's soul is even worse at the moment, but I will not talk about him since he's receiving buffs in 9.2 and his win rate was always on top of Talia anyways for mid lane for a long time. Talia at launch was a mid laner that while a bit extremely strong at times, extremely weak in other times, had some kind of clear identity. A mid lane champion with a self lock CC spells, that being her W, and a dash repellent that actually did damage and force counterplay her E. Talia was probably designed as a champion that is supposed to constantly push her lane and roam. Her passive Q and R pretty much screamed that. The fact that at times she had infinite mana and she could perma push without any issues was probably not calculated at launch, neither or near after that, but so Riot decided to slowly change her W and E and ultimate and Q and everything about her, so that she might actually become viable in a way. What they did not think about was the fact that the community might start playing her in a total different way, that being the jungle. You see, when you move a champion's kit into a spell, that being her Q, you transform the champion identity and besides that, you create something that if the ability is strong it will be pick or ban for ages or until nerfed. I understand that in pro play Talia is used vastly different than solo Q and that is fine. It is okay to have champions that become strong when there is a strong team around them. It is not okay when you have a perma push mid lane monster or an extremely versatile jungler that could either farm, roam aggressively or do hyper ganks with her ult and she has been both of those things. Well, what is the identity of Talia one might ask? It is the one she was initially designed for, the one identity that is completely forgotten now. The most unique things that were introduced with Talia were her E and her ultimate, even her W. Perhaps Riot should take a look at these abilities to take the things in the right direction. A suggestion that was given many times but not once tried. I do understand that mid to late her E onto dashes might heavily punish people, but isn't that the purpose of the ability? Assassins are supposed to play like assassins, carefully planning their next jump, their next target, not going all in whenever the opportunity arises without any risks. They exist without clear risk, and that's the problem. Should we be concerned that there is no counterability to the annoying bruisers and assassins, and the meta is actually always defending them? So what suggestions do I have for Talia? Keep the passive, the one ability that probably no one complains about. Make the first bit of Q AoE, but reduce overall Q power. Put any cooldown you'd like on it and any mana cost. Being a Q spam bot does not make Talia fun. It makes her oppressive. Use the workground mechanic better as it is also unique. There are thousands of options to play with this mechanic and all of it right now is just an annoying circle. If Q is still powerful, search for new ways to make her viable on her design role as a mid laner and not in the jungle, or even better, make her viable in jungle but give reduced damage to any kind of minions, champions, whatever. The trick here is that the champion should not revolve around this ability. Keep W the same, but change E to be actually meaningful against dashes. Give her the lost identity that she never had time to enjoy. Perhaps make her E deal less damage to minion as well, so she does not become a perma push champion again. Even though in her current state right now she can be, but she's weak elsewhere, so it's mostly pointless. Give her E extra damage on champions that go through, so you can actually buff her zoning identity that is complemented by her ultimate. Give the vision back on her ultimate. That was probably the weirdest change on her. Being an ultimate is supposed to be something actually that's actually strong, not a constantly nerfed spell that was not even the problem to begin with. Anyway, the trick is to change 
the champion from a single spell champion, her Q, to a multiple spell champion that can actually use them meaningful in combos, not just a spam Q bot. That is probably the one true way to balance. But hey, these are just suggestions, not an angry rant. I want the best for the champion, I don't want an OP champion. I want a balanced champion that can actually be viable. I don't want huge win rates, I just want to reward me if I'm good at it, or at least if I try my best. Uh, so yeah, this is what the video is all about, and I really hope I actually answered some of the questions that I proposed initially. Anyway, I'm Drumat, and I hope you enjoyed these thoughts, and have a nice day or night, and hope, let's hope that this champion will be soon changed for the better. Goodbye!